Hi everyone, it's JoJo. So today I have a vintage thrift haul for you. These are the items that I found last week at the Goodwill. Um, after I'm done showing you the items that I found, I will then show you the postcards that are still coming in for the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on the thrift haul. So the first item I wanted to show you that I found is this recipe box. I paid $1.79 for it, and I just love that green flower power 60s look to it. It is made by Syndicate Manufacturing Company. It's in pretty good condition. As you see, there are some marks, and the bottom is kind of scuffed up. But I do not have one like this, and this particular one is a little bit bigger than some of the other ones I have. I found this little clutch, and when I found this, the pricing gun actually had been put from one side to the other, so I couldn't open it. But to me, it did look like to be an older bag, maybe from the 60s. So when I got home and I bought it, um, I believe I paid around $2 for this. Like I said, I took the tag off so I could see inside. It says, created exclusively for Avon by Caden. And it's like new on the inside. It doesn't look like anybody has used it. So it's a real shame that that pricing gun made holes on the inside. But I really love that gold look. And it had kind of like a, I think they call it like a brocade look to it. So this little girl I was really excited about. I picked her up at Savers actually over the weekend. Um, I forgot that this one did come for the weekend. My husband and I, for our anniversary, we did some thrifting along with movies and a dinner. And this little girl was in one of the grab bags that they have on the wall. She was $2.99 and I took her out of the bag right away because I didn't want her to get broken. She was with some other kind of just, I don't know, like, junky type ceramic things and I just didn't want her banging up against any of them but I just thought she was so cute and here's her sticker on the bottom but I don't have a little Lufton girl like that especially a Valentine's so I was really excited to find her these I showed on Instagram um, I'm gonna show you this little elephant first that's on the side of the glass all of these are swizzle sticks and they were in a in a bag at Goodwill. $2.99 I paid for the whole bag. And so was this little guy. But this little elephant here is what helped me do a little more research on these swizzle sticks. So there is a palm tree as you can see. And I think there's six of those. And then there is this like marlin swordfish. And he is marked. So on the bottom and it's hard for you to see here. On the bottom, it says um, 1965 Zoo Picks. And then there, whoops, good thing I showed you that first. <laughs> and then there is um, little flamingos. Let me get it out of here. Flamingos that are also marked 1965 Zoo Picks. And then the last thing is just a bunch of these and they're playing like swizzle sticks. But what was really cool about these are, um, Sonic Drive-In, which we have one near us, has been around um, since the 50s. So in the 60s, on your drinks, they would place like little, I don't know if they call them prizes or little toys, but the little elephant you saw on the rim was one of those that they would put in it on your cup. And it looks like these were also part of that. Um, the Sonic Drive-In also gave away these swizzle sticks at least this one I was able to find linked to the sonic drive-in these ones I've had a little bit tougher time finding I've saw ones modern ones that looked similar but not quite um, but I thought those were really cool and I love the colors of those I got this little salt and pepper shaker these little oranges and it's still in the original wrapping Sunken Gardens Orange Salt and Pepper Shakers. <clears throat> the Sunken Gardens are in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I took the tag off of this one. It actually started peeling off. Um, it looked like someone who was selling a bunch of vintage items had donated things to the Goodwill. And they had put their Goodwill sticker over that tag from the original person that was trying to sell it. And that tag kept coming off. But I think I paid a dollar or less for this. 
but I thought it was really neat that they were in the original plastic. I found this deer planter, and it's actually a dual planter. So there's a little spot here on this side, and then there's a little spot on this side. Now the deer is in pretty good shape, a little teeny tiny chip there, but I paid $3 for him. And I just really like the look of him running through the grass like that. And here's the bottom, it's unmarked. A couple more things to show you. I found this cake plate. It's made by Indiana Glass and it's part of their Modern Classic line. It took me a little while to find this online. The condition is pretty good. It does have some scuffs and some um, little bit of paint loss in the silver uh, decorative part, but I love it. I don't have another cake plate that has a look quite like that. And I believe that I paid $2.99 for this one also, and I did. So I picked up two panel um, pictures here. And this is of like a pansies, I think is what that is. Um, they're made by a artist called Katherine Klein. And the back of it says it is a Turner wall accessory. Now when I looked up Turner wall accessories, some of the um, pictures actually go for quite a bit of money. I paid $2.99. But I thought it was really neat. Um, and it definitely had a look that I thought maybe could go on that gallery wall I just showed you. And then I also have a second one that I paid $2.99 for. And this one has a little more of a fall look to it. And it looks the same on the back. It's, they both have their tags. So I have one more item for you and then I will show you the postcards. So this is an Alice in Wonderland record. I paid 99 cents for this and I just really love the graphics on it. It's pretty beat up, but I just, I thought the graphics were pretty cool. It's front and back. So the back at the bottom says 1950 James and Jonathan Company. When I opened up the record on the inside, um, you can see that the record itself has like a little sparkle to it, which I thought was really cool. So those are the items I found last week at the thrift store, um, except for this one. This one was over the weekend. Um, and now I'm gonna show you the postcards that are coming in for the giveaway. Okay, so I have six postcards in total to show you. So this is the first one. It was sent to me by Cozy Curated Cottage, and she has a YouTube channel that I'll link in the description box. She loves a lot of the same things I do, um, and she has this wonderful, soothing voice. I could listen to her all day. I love this postcard. It's obviously an antique postcard, which is really cool. And it has a couple little bunnies and chicks, and it is a happy Easter themed. So I was thinking, I definitely obviously want to make it part of my postcard collection, but I'm thinking that I will use it also as a decorative piece around Easter time. I would love to display this one. So thank you very much. So I just wanted to mention real quick that the last postcard came from the state of Washington. I forgot to say that, so I apologize. This postcard was sent to me from a new subscriber and I really appreciate her wanting to participate in this giveaway. She lives in Texas, and the angel on the outside of this postcard is so beautiful. It said on the back that the original print of this angel was from 1890. So thank you so much, Deborah, for participating in this giveaway. Okay, so when I first saw this postcard, I guessed who sent it to me before I even flipped it over. I love that she sent me this Charlie Chaplin postcard. He is one of the first film pioneers, as she put on the back of the postcard. She has a channel here on YouTube. It's called Antiques in Hollywood, and I absolutely love it. 
If you love older films like I do, she is definitely the channel you want to check out. So much wonderful information, and right now she's doing a series on haunted places in the Hollywood area, if that appeals to you. I would definitely check it out, but I love that she stayed true to herself when she sent me this postcard, so I'm very excited about this one. So this postcard was sent to me by Ginger Mom for kiddos, and I just love that she told me the story about this postcard on the back. So it is of the Redwoods, and they were able to visit the Redwoods this summer um, for her daughter's Make-A-Wish. And I just, I bet your daughter absolutely loves seeing these trees. I know I would love to see them. And so I'm really hoping that your family had an absolutely wonderful time on this trip. She said that the snow reminded her of Minnesota, and that would be a place for me that I would love to visit one of these days. So thank you so much for sending this to me. I do have to offer you a quick apology though. When I posted the postcard yesterday on Instagram, I forgot to tag you. And it was just, I didn't have the postcards in front of me. And so I was just, going off memory and I realized my mistake later and corrected it but I wanted to let you know that I sincerely appreciate you sending this to me and telling me your story and I am very happy that you entered the giveaway. Okay so according to my kids this is where we're going on our next vacation. <laughs> They were so excited about this postcard. Uh, this features a Japanese garden, and it was sent to me by uh, Annalise, and she lives in Pomona, California. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love that she included a place where she lives so that I can visually see what she gets to enjoy every day. So thank you, Annalise, for sharing this and sending it to me. So the last and final postcard for today is sent from the farthest distance from me, and this is from the beautiful island of Waikiki in Hawaii, and I have to show you something about this postcard. It moves, if you can see it. I tried to post a little video on Instagram so that you could see the movement. How cool is that? And it is sent from I Heart Old Things. And can I just say, I absolutely love that name, I Heart Old Things. It's perfect. It, it describes so many of us, I think. So that was genius on your part. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that you entered the giveaway. And I love that it was able to make it to me on time, considering you're so far away from me. So, But thank you so much to all that have entered. And... Um, Remember, the giveaway ends October 18th, so there's still plenty of time if you haven't already sent out your postcards. So that's it for today, and thank you so much. If you like this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.